Now in metadata service, we use MongoDB as our database. In 1.0, we use in-memory database. Each pod gets its own database. However, when we want to scale our application, we want all our services to use single database. So database needs to be abstracted outside of the actual service. It should not be inside. Let's do that. The way we want to have it is like this instead of this. So the exercise phi is a little complicated. Now we want to have two services. Deploy MongoDB pod using the Mongo image available on the Docker Hub. Create a cluster IP service for MongoDB and the service name has to be Mongo so that my DNS name becomes Mongo. Now we have to change our metadata service to version 2.0 and we have to specify the environment variable MongoDB URI to connect to the external MongoDB and then try your get and post. Let's get started. So I have my Mongo pod created here. It's a kind pod, full name as Mongo pod and container as Mongo image. The port that I am using is default port 27017. Service is cluster IP, again kind service. The name of the service is Mongo. This is very important because this becomes your DNS name. Type is cluster IP. Selector is Mongo pod, which is labeled here in the pod part of it. Port 27017, target port 27017. Simple. Let's deploy this MongoDB first. As always, I'll deploy the service first. I have my service created, cluster IP set, all good. Let's create the Mongo pod. I have my Mongo pod up and running. And if you notice, my endpoint is showing up here for the Mongo service. Let's look at the metadata replica set. Everything is same, no difference. The only difference is the environment variable here. So if you notice environment variable, I'm specifying the MongoDB URI as hostname Mongo and port is default 27017. And service is same, node port service, no difference there. So let's deploy this. First, I'll deploy the service. Service is created, no endpoints configured because no ports running with that label. Let's deploy the replica set, not ready yet. Because it will take after 20 seconds, it will start hitting the readiness endpoint. So, ready, one pod ready, showed up, second pod ready, showed up, all good. Now, I will just hit the curl endpoint using my mini cube IP. It's empty. The post entry it goes to any service. The database is single database. In, I did two entries there. Now I'll do the get meta data. Get meta data. Do n number of times, you will get the same result. So now I have my two metadata service running which is not having embedded MongoDB, which is connected to the MongoDB deployed as a pod using cluster IP service Mongo specify in my MongoDB URI. That's all for the exercise 5.